what they'll say? They should, right? The mall's Facebook. Half of all internet users are on, in the mall. It's wide open. It's open for business. So get there. It's easy. It's free. So think global, not local. When I create a Facebook page, I don't want it just for the UK. I don't want it just for London necessarily. I want the whole world to see it. There are a lot more potential views of my page globally than there are in any one country or city. So it's the same amount of work for me to put a page up for everyone to see as it is for a few people to see. So where would you rather put it? Globally, right? Say global. 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 How many of you have a product or service or want a product or service that you can sell globally? Raise your hand. Most of you, right? Do it. You may have to put it in a different language, but I have to tell you, English is the number one language online. I was in Vietnam just two weeks ago for an event, and I had an interpreter that actually said a sentence, and then the interpreter spoke in Vietnamese. And when I got off, everyone came and spoke to me in English. <laughs> I didn't get it. I was, like, oh. I was like, I said something, and I had to pause and go, blah, blah, blah. And all the way through, it was like a two and a half presenta hour presentation. And then they all come back to the table, and I go, oh, hey, Jim, I really like the thing. I really like the thing. I was like, why did I need an interpreter? They all know English. It was really amazing. And I had no idea, but you know, Apparently the host didn't know either. You know, they, they didn't get the memo that the Vietnamese have said in English too. You know? But anyway, so English is the biggest language. You might as well be there. It's the easiest. We all know English in here, I'm, I'm assuming, right? So let's do it globally and do it in English to, to start with and then branch out from there. Every 20 minutes on Facebook, 10 million comments are made. Every 20 minutes. That's 30 million an hour. 1.5 million event invites are made. 2.7 me million messages are sent, 1.9 friend requests accepted. Now let's just talk about friends for a minute. How many of you here in the room have a friend? Yeah? Okay, so Facebook did something weird. Uh, in the past, before Facebook, when I had a friend, I usually would meet that person, and then I might have something in common and say, hey, I kind of like what you do. We have something in common. We're kind of friends, right? I go, yeah, and then you go do things with them, right? Well, what did Facebook do? My friends are friends of friends of friends of friends, but they're not really my friend, but they're still my friend, right? The, the friend, the definition of friend has completely changed with Facebook, and we have this commonality because usually it's a photo. People look at photos, and there's an identification. It's like, oh, that's my friend. You're, are you my friend on Facebook? You know that kind of thing, right? So it's a friend of a friend of a friend. But can you imagine every 20 minutes, almost 2 million friend requests accepted? This is where the people are, guys. 1.3 million tagged photos, 2.7 million photos uploaded, and 1.8 <coughs> million statuses are updated every 20 minutes. Again, I go back to the mall. If you're going to go put your business in a mall, you better put it in the busiest one. While the rent is high there, you're going to get more traffic, right? Rent is high, more traffic. Yeah? yeah? Facebook. No rent, high traffic. It's free. It's a good place, yeah? It's a great place, actually. Okay, so what we're going to talk about is a complete total mar Facebook marketing platform, okay? This is how to make money, whether you have an offline business or an online business or a combination of both, using Facebook. We talk, we're going to talk about custom fan pages. We're going to talk about targeted friends and fans in Facebook. We're going to also talk about being at the top of Google searches in Facebook. Very few people know this strategy. And then also becoming an authority in your niche and selling from your fan page. How many here in the room have a Facebook page that you have a buy now button on? Wow. Two, three. There gotta be almost 300 people here, right? One percent. How many here have a website with a buy now button on it? Look at that, yeah? Do it in Facebook. You can have buy now buttons in Facebook as well. And that's where half the population is in the world. Have a buy now button on your Facebook page. Sell where the people are. They don't have to come to you. They'll, they'll come to you because you're on Facebook, right? Buy now buttons are everything. That's how we make money. All right, so let's go through the 21 steps of how to have a successful fan page. You ready? Okay, so we're going to start with number one, choose a niche, set up the fan page, purchase the domain for the iframe, and then we're going to go into sign up for the hosting, design a custom Facebook page, create the Facebook app, add the app to the page, set up the pin post, design a cover photo, set up the SEO. Um, do you want me to go through the whole thing? No. Okay, done. Not so bad. That's okay, we'll go through each one a little bit, okay? Choosing your niche, first thing, niche. 
This is sometimes the hardest thing for the people that I meet. They don't even know where to start, right? It's hard, right? They've got some ideas, or maybe they don't. They don't know what's going to work, right? So choose a niche that you like. It's much easier. You'll actually spend more time on it. You'll actually get it right. If you don't have a passion for the niche, chances are it'll be tougher. It'll take longer than if you actually have it in something you like. Make it enjoyable. Make it fun. This is business should be fun. When I was washing cars, and literally there were times I'm out there with pals, this is not so much fun. But online, we're talking about typing and making money. It's fun. If you have trouble finding a niche, look at magazines. The latest magazines have all the up-to-date, everything that's hot. They do. Just go through the magazine ads, and you're going to see what's hot. Bookstores today. Are bookstores here in the UK starting to close? Yeah. We're seeing that in the US as well, right? Well, what do you think? Do you think a bookstore is going to have books that sell or don't sell on their shelves today? Yeah, only those that sell. They can't afford to keep the stock that's not selling. So go to the bookstore, and everything on the shelves is basically a seller. So that's going to give you an idea of what works. Pretty simple idea, right? But most of us don't think about it. Go to the bookstore and look what's on the shelf, because if it's on the shelf, chances are they're buying it, and that's where you want to be. 